Hello everyone and welcome back to Instrumentation Hub. We have started the learning journey and I hope you guys are enjoying it and the videos are also useful to you. While watching the videos, if you face any doubt, you can quickly comment it or you can reach out to me by following Instagram page that is Instrumentation Hub. And if this is your first time on the channel, just hit the subscribe button and join me in the learning journey. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump to the video. Friends, till now we have covered introduction of the control system, different types of control system and transfer function. And in this video, we are going to see what is time response analytics and why it is important in control systems. Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin with the very first question that is what is time response analysis. Let's take an example. Consider an example of measuring the voltage by using the voltmeter. While measuring the voltage, the voltmeter takes some time to respond after giving the input to the system. Consider voltmeter giving the in output of 30 volts. It will not show directly 30 volts. Voltmeter rises gradually from 0 volt to 30 volt, right? And after reaching 30 volt, it also takes some time to settle at that value. So what you can understand from this example? From this example, we can conclude that after giving input to the system, system takes some time to respond and settle. Okay. Time response of the system also provides us information about the output of the system it is in the desired range or not. This parameter helps us defining the accuracy and the stability of the system. Okay. Now let's see more about the time response. On the basis of time, time response can be divided into two parts. The first is transient response and the second is steady state response. Let's understand these terms in detail. Look at the figure on the screen. Let's consider this is an output of a system with respect to time. The green line is given for the set point value of that system. Now, how to differentiate between transient response and steady state response? Let me help you with that. I will divide this signal into two parts. The output signal before the dotted line is our transient response. And the output signal after the dotted line is our steady state response. I think you have understood this. No? Don't worry, I will explain you these terms in details. Okay, let's see more about these terms. First consider transient response. Transient response is a response or a time taken by a control system to reach the set point or the final value. So the definition of the transient response is the variation of the output from the initial value to the final value after giving input to the system. Okay. But one thing that tan transient response vanishes after some time. Transient response also provide information about time instant. Time instant when system starts responding to the applied input. Second thing is the rate of change of output which can give the speed of the system and the nature of the output. Compare these terms with the given figure. You will understand it. Okay, let's consider another type that is steady state response. Steady state response is the, is the final value achieved by the control system. The output response of the system gets stable in this phase. And steady state response occurs after transient response vanishes. Steady state response provides us information about the error or the difference between desired output and actual output. 
it also gives the information about time required to reach the steady state you can see in the figure that steady state response is almost near to the set point so it defines the accuracy of the system you have to remember these terms while designing the control system so why time time response analysis is important in control system basically it helps us to determine the accuracy and the stability of the system okay let's have a quick review that what we have seen in this video we have seen what is a time response of the control system and two different types of time response that is transient response and steady state response so that was all for the today's video thank you so much for watching this video see you all in the next video till then tata bye and don't forget to like share and comment